Yo, what up guys? Uh how's everyone doing? Um back at it again right here with uh Tours Boxing. Make sure you guys go ahead and uh subscribe to the to the YouTube channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications, and also follow revival in Christ uh dot com. But um anyways guys, I did want to go ahead and talk a little bit about Marcos Maidana and his comeback. As we all know, Marcos El Chino Maidana is making a comeback and I'm excited, you know, because he's one of my favorite fighters of all time. Uh, I was bummed out, you know, when he announced his retirement uh, a few years back um, after his Mayweather fights. I felt like, man, I was anxiously awaiting uh, for the announcement of a new fight date, but that didn't come, unfortunately. And it was a bittersweet moment when Maidana decided to retire. Uh, but, you know, he made a, a lot of money off of those two fights. Uh, it reached pretty much the pinnacle of the sport uh, and retired. And, you know, that was that was good for him. But now... You know, uh, since that day in 2014 where he last fought against um, Floyd Mayweather, he's announced his comeback and now he's back at it again and he's training to cut weight and come back into the ring. So, you know, it's some serious stuff because Maidana was uh, weighing, I think, about 218 pounds before, uh, you know, he started his training camp. But when that first video came out about him challenging all these top fighters, people, maybe myself personally, you know, I was like, I was a little skeptical. I didn't expect him to to actually go through with it although you know that it would have been great but it turns out that it is and it, and it is great news you know Maidana is trading he was about 218 pounds and I think he's down to about as of the time of this video right now to about 186 187 and he's losing a lot of weight and he's looking natural I think that's the good thing you know but uh Alex Ariza his strength and conditioning coach uh has said that uh Maidana's looking to fight three times they would want him to fight three times this year in 2019 and they want him to fight in June which will be the big comeback fight in a couple months September and December and so these are uh fight dates that uh they're looking at and that uh you know I, th I think not a lot could be expected in, in his first fight because the first fight's really going to be a comeback fight uh you know and it's going to be one where man five years out of the ring it's going to be a, a, a not a fight where I think Maidana is going to necessarily be expected to even uh, look good. Uh, there's going to be a lot of ring rust, in my opinion. Um, and it's just going to be to, uh, able to see gauge where he's at. So I'm looking forward to that first fight. But at the same time, I'm not uh, I don't think anyone should really be expecting any major fights, uh, at least this year, because I think these next three fights is going to be something uh, similar to Tyson Fury's comeback fights where he fought twice before he fought Deontay Wilder. And those were kind of like gimme fights, fights where, you know, we were trying to see where is Tyson Fury and him also getting acclimated back into the boxing. So I, I expect the same thing for Maidana in these three fights uh, that I think he's going to, you know, be preparing himself and we're going to be able to see, you know, where Maidana is right now. Where is El Chino Maidana? You know, can he still be the Maidana of old? If not, can he still be uh, a, com a threat in today's, uh, you know, landscape? Uh, it remains to be seen. You know, I think Maidana, in all honesty, I, I think when he left uh, boxing, he was at the top of his career. He was in his prime condition. And not only that, but he had gotten better under the tutelage of uh, Robert Garcia. He was using an exceptional jab, which we all know is an essential punch in boxing. And he was, um, you know, um, when he retired, uh, you know, he he retired at the top of the sport after going, you know, giving Floyd Mayweather, uh, you know, his stiffest challenge to date and getting a rematch with him. He retired, got a lot of good money. In my opinion, I don't think he's ever really been in a, some major wars where you can say, oh, they've taken a toll on his body and he's an old 30-some year old. You know, I think he's still a young guy, but at the same time, I think he's about 35 right now. So even though he left in his prime age, you know, we'll see how much age plays into this whole thing. So, you know, Maidana, uh, I know it's gonna be a long road right now, uh, but I do expect these next three fights to be, uh, fights where he's just kind of testing the waters and seeing where he's at personally and physically. So let's see what happens, guys. You know, who do you want to see Maidana go up against? You know, I know Luis Collazo said that he'd be willing to fight, but I do know that also the rumored opponent right now for his first comeback fight is Phil LaGreco, who, uh, um, you know, you may have seen him fight and lose against, uh, Amir Khan um recently so let's see what happens guys but i'm I'm excited for marcos el chino maidana i don't i don't think this is a money grab i think you know obviously he'll be making some good money but at the same time um 
maybe he's got an itch to just come back and do it. You know, it's something that he may, he may not never have loved it, but it's something that he always knew how to do. And he may be getting bored, so he wants to do something, and maybe he feels like he can still do something in the sport. So let's see. What do you guys want to see uh, from Michael's Maidana? Make sure you go ahead and let me know in the comments section. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon, guys. And uh, visit Re Revival in Christ and also TaurusBoxing.com, guys. God bless you, and have a great rest of your day.